This is the highest end PC that I've built in years, and I'm gonna be giving it away to one of you, but I almost ruined it in a few different ways, but thankfully, it got saved by the help of a special friend. I introduce you to Midnight. Today's UFD Tech video is sponsored by Blinkist. My friends, I don't know about you, but I have a busy life and it happens that I don't have time to read a book all of the time. But thankfully, I've been recently using Blinkist, so instead of having to find the time to read a whole book, I can just listen to all its highlights in only 15 minutes. Blinkist allows you to save time, money, and learn new things faster than ever. You can use it for your self-improvement, development, parenting, marriage, and many other areas. Blinkist has the best insights from over 3,000 nonfiction books, and it condenses them into just 15 minutes. You can read or listen to them podcast style, and they have over 14 million active users. And you get access to all of the titles while offline, and now they have full-length audiobooks. If you want to dive deeper, premium subscribers get special member pricing, up to 65% off of the regular retail price. And one of the beautiful things about Blinkist is not just using it to read new books, but I've also used it to help quickly refresh myself on books that I've read previously. I don't need to dive back into the full book, I can just use Blinkist to catch up on the highlights and stir up my memory to make sure that I'm good to go. Power of Habits by Charles Duhigg and Atomic Habits by James Clear are especially important to me right now as I'm trying to reform some habits that I've developed that I probably shouldn't have along the last two years. And those two books have been monumental in me changing my workflow, changing my life. For me to be a better father, a better business owner, a better boss, a better husband, I absolutely love those books and you should check them out on Blinkist. And the first 100 people to go to Blinkist.com forward slash UFD tech are going to get unlimited access for one week to try it out. And my friends, the seven day trial is completely free. You can cancel at any time during that period. You'll also get 25% off if you want a full membership. Big thanks to Blinkist for sponsoring today's video. So these are some of the highest end components that you could possibly have in a PC. I'm talking ASRock Z590 Gaming OC Formula worth $550. The Intel 11900K, again, another $550 setup right there. The GPU is the Mac Daddy RX 6900 XT, again, ASRock OC Formula. We got 32 gigs of crucial ballistics RAM. It one terabyte Sprint Rocket 4 Plus NVMe 4.0 drive, all in the Fantex P500A mid tower chassis with a 360 millimeter AIO going there, cooling this bad boy. So, on paper, everything seems good. It looks like a great system, but that's because I had the help of a friend, Zach's Tech Turf, which you can check out his channel down below in the video description or right up there, who made sure that this PC that I'm going to be giving away to one of you isn't a total piece of crap because it's not the spec that necessarily make up the beauty of a system. You can have all the specs in the world, but you can still color coordinate and make things look poor. Or you could potentially drop a $1,600 graphics card on the ground of which Zach's security camera got footage of, and then you had to go home and test it to make sure it could still work before you ever even did the live stream to give it away in the first place. This, this is like, so now with my original choice with the Trident Z, I got the like, oh, the really? black, this is black, black, yeah. Black, yeah. Let's just pretend that never happened, especially if you end up winning this, which we'll talk about towards the end of the video. But this build started when ASRock approached me and asked me if I could do a high-end build with their OC Formula lineup, the Z590 and the 6900 XT. I said sure, and I went ahead and started coordinating the rest of the PC parts, doing the best that I thought I could in order to kind of color coordinate everything that was going on. I got recommendations from Zach's Discord server over in the exclusives, which you can be part of too if you go follow him and subscribe to him on Twitch, which again, we'll leave linked in the video description. We actually built this PC live over on his channel. And they recommended that I pick up this P500A in black. They also potentially suggested white, but I think as we come to the end of this, the black was definitely the right choice. But one of the hardest things with making a system like this is color coordinating the green that ASRock has going on in the rest of the system, at which I got a recommendation that I should pick up these cables because they would also match what's going on in this system, which the greens aren't quite the same, doesn't perfectly match, and kind
kind of makes it look bad overall. On top of that, the fans that actually come included in the Glacier 360 are white fans and not RGB, and so it would have also stood out on top as well. So I went over to Zach's and he actually had like an hour long sit down with me where he explained his thought processes and how he picks out the cable extensions, how he picks out the color design, how he makes sure that he's matching everything in this, and that's how we came to this idea. In case you've watched this channel for any length of time, you'll know that I don't have a particularly good eye when it comes to the aesthetics of either myself or PC builds, and so I definitely needed the help in this. Otherwise, you would have gotten a mishmash of colors and just a horrendous abomination of a system that's just not necessarily worthy to sh show off like this one is. <laughs> So thanks to Zach's good design eye, as well as the fact that the 6900 XT did not break when I dropped it on the floor, this system is complete. I think the aesthetics go really well all together. You've got the nice cable extensions coming out of the eight pins, which because there are three eight pins, you could actually use a 24 pin cable comb extension right there in order to get that out, as well as Zach vinyl wrapping the power supply down here, which makes it so that it actually just flows together really well. I have the RGB set to white on the Fantex cooler, but you can make it whatever color you want, but I do think that the black, white, and green aesthetic really makes this thing pop overall. But how does a build like this perform? Phenomenally, in case you didn't know, when you're spending this type of top dollar money, it just, it runs really well. So I benchmarked this PC at 4K at high settings in a number of different games. We've got Red Dead Redemption 2. We averaged 75 FPS there. Again, 4K high. Fortnite, we managed 134 average on that. Cyberpunk 2077 is the lowest number on this, but that's because we also turned on ray tracing, and I did not turn on DLSS because it's an RX 6900 XT. So we averaged 49 FPS on that one. Crisis Remastered with ray tracing turned on, we got 61 and a half FPS. Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition with ray tracing support, I managed to get 56 FPS average. The Witcher 3, again 4K high, managed to get 98 FPS average. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, 81.7, and Control managed to get 77.4. So in the latest latest AAA titles at 4K high, you're looking at roughly 60 FPS. You can knock down some of those settings. Cyberpunk, if you drop the ray tracing, you're gonna be able to hit 60 FPS, no problem. Additionally, with CPU benchmark, Cinebench absolutely crushed it. 16219 in multi-score and 1629 in single core. Roughly 10 times multiplier on what's only an eight core chip, which means that it's actually doing remarkably well. The read and write speeds on the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus is 7,000 thousand megabytes per second read and 5.5 thousand megabytes per second write. This is absolutely a blisteringly fast drive. This thing is going to handle anything that you could potentially throw at it. This is a beast of a machine that can handle 4K gaming and it is a stunning looker. So I just wanted to give a big thanks to ASRock for giving me the GPU and the motherboard to do this build with as well as Sabrent for sending over that SSD in order to make that happen. And again, big thanks to Zach's Tech Tur for helping me color coordinate this build as well as build it over on his Thirsty Thursday live stream, which I cannot recommend enough. He's been a great friend to me. You should definitely check him out at the links in the video description. So let's get into the giveaway details. You want to know about this? We are going to be giving this away along with four other PCs, three graphics cards, and a laptop on our upcoming charity live stream, which is going to be happening next week, October 6th through 8th. We're doing Cannonball for the Cure, where we will be live streaming a drive from New York City to LA non-stop in order to raise funds for Syngap Research Fund, which is dedicated in order to try to cure my son's rare disease, which is again known as Syngap 1, which causes things from seizures to global developmental delay, as well as a ton of other just uh, comorbidities. It's really rough. My son has hundreds of seizures per day, and I'm trying my absolute hardest to make sure that we find a cure because we live in a day and age where that is going to be possible. We're going to be doing it in a Tesla Model X, number one, because electric vehicles represent the technological future of our society and that is something that if we were not making technological progress my son can never get cured so in order to win this PC there's gonna be a couple of ways number one you can donate to the charity when that link goes live next week on October 6th and number two you can come watch over on twitch where you can earn free entries based on your watch time for this what is expected to be a 60 hour trip you earn one ticket for every hour that you watch us and you could potentially earn up to 60 tickets in order to potentially win this again with four other PCs, which I'll be talking about in videos to come out later this week. But here we have Midnight, not dead, not ugly, 
absolute stunner of a PC that will be going to one of you guys. I'm so thankful that I had the help on this because I could not color coordinate this otherwise, but we've got a lot of preparation going on for the charity stream. So if you could tune in next week, that'd be great. You probably want to go head on over to Twitch and get, follow me right now so that you're good to go for that. But now that you're done watching this video, you should go check out the last PC build that I did with my son, which went even worse than this because we actually had a dead component. You can check it out right over there. With that being said, I'm Brett with UFD Tech. I'll see you in the next video, my friends. Cheers.